Thank you. And developing now, a Miami-Dade police officer is in critical condition after being shot in the head. Authorities say that the person behind the trigger was the victim's ex-girlfriend. Local 10's Trent Kelly live in Miami with details on this investigation. Trent. Yeah, Andrew, that injured officer still here at JMH listed in critical condition. Officers say he was shot by his ex-girlfriend yesterday. Uh, that ex-girlfriend then leaving the scene. Now she is in jail this morning facing several charges as her ex, that officer, continues to cling to life. He's out of surgery and he's been moved over to a room. His family's with him right now. A Miami-Dade police officer still fighting for his life at Jackson Ryder Trauma Center. Officer Damian Colon, a 17-year veteran of the force, remaining in critical condition. He's still with us, um, you know, and, and we want to ride that positivity. We ask that the community ride that positivity with us for him and his family. And, and that's what's going to get us through this. Cologne was off duty early Friday when investigators say his ex-girlfriend shot him in the head outside this Hialeah home. The suspect, Jesenia Sanchez, had previously been arrested back in September after she allegedly hit Cologne before then threatening to hurt herself. This is a domestic violence incident. The shooter is a former Miami-Dade school police officer. Neighbors telling Local 10 they were not aware of any issues between the couple. You know, I'd say hi, and she was super, super, super nice. An emotional scene Friday as Cologne's co-workers gathered outside the hospital awaiting any update on the condition of their injured colleague. We may have different color shirts, but we're all one, and we all want the same thing to protect our community and protect our officers. And following that shooting yesterday, detectives say Sanchez then fled the scene in her own car. She was later arrested, though, after crashing into several other vehicles a short distance away. She is now in jail this morning, as we mentioned, facing several charges, including attempted first degree murder and aggravated stalking. As for that officer, we will let you know as soon as we get any more updates on his current condition. For now, though, that is the latest live from JMH in Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.